the channel and welcome back to just an update on the progress on the Flewelling Canoe. Um, about five, a little more than five weeks removed from my left knee total knee replacement surgery and I found a couple days where I was feeling healthy enough and strong enough uh, with all the PT and strengthening of the leg to come down and actually remove the remaining fiberglass that existed on the starboard side of the canoe. That has been removed and uh, it was difficult, uh, just like the rest of it was, based on the fiberglass matting and the multiple layers of fiberglass. So this canoe originally started with uh, two layers of fiberglass that was painted, and then there were matting uh, sandwiches installed there. Uh, so on top of the original fiberglass, there was matting, fiberglass cloth on top of that matting, matting then on top of that fiberglass, and then a, a final finish layer, uh, you know, a fiberglass cloth and multiple layers of fiberglass sandwiched in between had been painted at different times. So it, what that's telling me is that the canoe had experienced troubles over the years and uh, they added more and more fiberglass. And uh, some of these chunks of fiberglass came off uh, very difficult, but they did come off a couple in big chunks and, and one of them weighed five pounds. Two of them actually weighed five pounds and that was just a small section of the canoe. So out of curiosity I weighed them and they were five pounds each. So I still have all the debris from the canoe that was stripped off of the fiberglass and normally I wouldn't do this but what the heck I mean I want to weigh all of it because when I brought this canoe down it weighed a ton. Today's cleanup day and I'm going to pick up all the debris and start doing my evaluation of the canoe but I'm going to weigh that debris and then I'm going to weigh the canoe and I want to see how much fiberglass weight contributed to the overall weight of this canoe. And I would imagine with two small sections weighing in at five pounds each and that covered not even a quarter of the canoe. I have to assume that there's 40 to 50 pounds of fiberglass that were removed from this canoe. So, and, uh, yeah, the stern end of the canoe uh, has been deeply damaged and, and covered up over the years with all these different uh, forms of uh, fiberglass applications. So uh, we have a lot of planking to do back there, a lot of rib repairs, half rib repairs. The st stern stem needs to be completely removed, reshaped, you know, steam bent on a, I got to build a form for that. It, it's a full on restoration from here. Overall, uh, I'm quite pleased with the overall condition of, since this is a wooden canoe, wooden rib canoe, but it's been uh, fiberglass skinned. You know, you hear a lot of uh, negative concerns about that it creates a lot of rot. Well, I don't really see a ton of rot, uh, only on the stern end. So the rest of it's in pretty decent shape and because the owner wants to restore this canoe by salvaging as much of the original wood that it possibly can, um, you know, there's going to be some epoxy repairs to the forward end of the boat, but back aft on the stern, there's going to be full on planking replacement. You just can't do anything to, it's gone. It's, uh, it came off of the fiberglass. So, and it's just dry rotted and rotted through. So anyway, uh, Basically going to uh, clean up and uh, weigh that debris and, and uh, just out of curiosity. Sometimes I go down strange paths, but I want to know. I'm going to weigh the canoe after I weigh the debris and then I'm going to combine that weight. Also with the motor bracket that was taken off, I already weighed that. That came in at 11 pounds. Two sections of the fiberglass came in at 5 pounds each, a little shy of that. But with all this debris picked up, we're going to find out. Stay tuned.
There's the first bag. Let's weigh it. Okay, so the first trash bag came in at 31.38 pounds. You add that to the 10 pounds of the two sections that I had uh, shown earlier, we're up to 41 pounds. And we still have another trash bag to fill. Let's get to that. So now I'm going to take you on a little tour of the canoe and the repairs that are necessary. They're quite obvious, but uh, just to show you what I'm up against now, moving ahead. And I'll discuss uh, all my findings with you. This is the stern stem. And it's gone. If you can see down through here, that's been gone for a while which is the compensation that has been made for all of the fiberglass that was back here. And you can see all the rot that occurred here. This is mostly predominant on the stern end of the boat. And looking down the hull, you can see that the bow area looks pretty decent. And uh, this is all the way up to about midship where you have some rot here, planking replacement, planking replacement, planking replacement, planking as well, and obviously here. So a lot of this came up with the fiberglass removal, which I didn't understand the, uh, the full nature of the uh, condition of those planks underneath the fiberglass, but now we know. I mean, there was no saving that anyway, so uh, we'll have to replace and blend all of that planking here. So with the stern stem that needs to be steam bent, and uh, I got to build a form for that and cut out the notches for the ribs, and then all the planking replacement, and also, like, here's a good example right here. Here's a cracked rib, and also a half rib that fell out of the boat. So I'll use that as a template and uh, to make up new ones. And now what I'm gonna do is just uh, flip the canoe and I'm gonna try and get a weight on this. It's a heck of a lot lighter than before. So here's the stern end of the boat, and this is your stern stem. It's rotten, and it's gone, and it needs to be replaced. The whole thing needs to be replaced. So I'm going to have to steam bend that, build a form and steam bend that. Multiple ribs. This is an example right here. Half ribs are also broken, and that extends all the way up to midship. As you can see, I counted about 25 and which is explaining why it's so spongy and why that matting was potentially added so you can see that through hole right there and you can't really see the bottom side of all of the planking that's been damaged well you can right here that's all going to have to get made back in and uh, fit up so here you have Cracked ribs, cracked ribs, cracked ribs, half ribs. A lot of half ribs are cracked. So, we're going to be at it for a while. Here is the bow stem. Also, similar repairs are required. 
make a scarf cut on the stem, rebuild the inwheels. A lot of the ribs need to be scarfed as well and uh, epoxied in or type bond three glued in. And then also some planking. You can see here, it's a lot of, a lot of damage. Overall for the age of the boat, not too bad. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of work, but it's already looking better. Especially with the skin off and we saved as much of the planking as we could. It's looking pretty good. There's still some residual epoxy all over, which you can see it right here. That's all residual that needs to come off as well. I'm going to take go around again with the heat gun and be real careful with that. Remove as much of that before I start sanding the exterior of the hull. So the canoe completely suspended now. Let's get an accurate weight. 78.15 pounds. So you add the 78 to the 52 pounds of fiberglass, you have a 130 pound canoe. So anyway, thank you for stopping by for this update on the Fluellen canoe. Uh, very limited time for me. A couple more days, I'm gonna be having the right knee done. I was fortunate enough to be able to get to this point where I can start evaluating the materials that need to get ordered. Um, the nasty part is over, you know, the, uh, the stripping the interior of the canoe and the removal of the fiberglass on the exterior. Um, the hard work is all done. Now it kind of becomes more fun. Yeah, it's just going to take a long time. Once my next surgery occurs, it's going to be another six weeks before I'm going to be healthy again because that's where I'm at right now with the left knee. So uh, thanks for being patient with this project. I wanted to get something out to you to show that, yeah, you know, we're... Uh, doing what we can while we can. And, and for those of you that have been patient enough to uh, stick by and watch and uh, follow along with this project, I appreciate it. Uh, sorry the content's not there uh, to, to give you maybe exactly what you're looking for, but I, I hope you understand. And uh, I appreciate all your support, uh, the comments. Please like, subscribe, share with family members uh, because once I'm healed from the other knee, I'm going to go gangbusters on this canoe and uh, get it done, hopefully, uh, by the end of spring or a month into summer because uh, I have other work I need to do on my canoes as well, and I have some canoe trips planned. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Appreciate all your support, and I'll see you in the next one.